Have you ever wondered if the red planet was once blue with vast rivers and streams? It's an intriguing thought, isn't it? The notion that Mars, known for its red dusty landscape, might once have been crisscrossed with bubbling brooks and rushing rivers. Now, this isn't just a figment of our imagination, but a possibility supported by compelling scientific evidence. From high above in space, satellites have been our eyes, capturing images of the Martian surface that reveal features eerily similar to dried up riverbeds here on Earth. These intriguing formations suggest that water, the lifeblood of our own planet, once flowed on Mars. What does this mean for our understanding of the red planet? And what could it tell us about its past and perhaps even its potential to harbor life? It's a fascinating journey we're about to embark on. So join us as we trace the paths of these ancient waterways and uncover the secrets they hold about Mars's past. From high above Mars our satellites give us a unique perspective on the remnants of these ancient rivers. Picture this, vast networks of winding channels, etched into the Martian surface, standing as silent testaments to a time when water flowed freely on the red planet. These aren't mere figments of imagination but actual features that our eyes in the sky have spotted. We see valleys carved deep into the Martian crust, some as wide as the Grand Canyon back home. Then, there are the deltas, fan-shaped deposits of sediment that tell us water once pooled and flowed here. And let's not forget the meandering riverbeds, their serpentine paths frozen in time, hinting at a slower, gentler flow of water. Each of these features paints a piece of the Martian story, a story of a planet that was once very different from the dry, barren world we see today. These images are our window into a world that existed billions of years ago, a world where water flowed on Mars. Let's travel back in time to see how these Martian rivers might have looked. Picture this, a Mars that's not just a dry, dusty red landscape, but a vibrant world with water streaming through valleys, carving out canyons, and pooling into vast lakes. To recreate this captivating panorama scientists turned to intricate 3D animations. Based on the geological data gathered from orbiters, rovers, and landers, they weaved together a story of an active, watery Mars. These animations are not just artistic renderings but scientific reconstructions, underpinned by a wealth of information about the Martian surface and subsurface. They provide us with a glimpse into Mars's past climate and water cycle. From the size and shape of the riverbeds we can infer the volume of water that once flowed. From the sediments left behind, we can tell the speed at which the rivers ran. And from the patterns of erosion and deposition, we can deduce the duration for which these rivers were active. These reconstructions are like time machines, allowing us to witness a Mars that existed billions of years ago. They help us understand the changes that Mars has undergone, and why it transformed from a water-rich planet to the arid world we see today. These reconstructions not only bring the past to life but they also hint at the possibility of life itself on ancient Mars. Why do we care about ancient rivers on Mars? Well they could hold the answer to one of humanity's biggest questions. The seemingly barren red terrain of Mars hides a watery past, told by the tale of its ancient rivers. By studying these Martian waterways, scientists can piece together a fascinating chronicle of climatic shifts and environmental changes that took place on the Red Planet billions of years ago. These ancient rivers offer tantalizing clues about Mars's past water cycle. They suggest a time when the Martian atmosphere was dense enough to support liquid water. A thicker atmosphere, combined with warmer temperatures, would have allowed rain to fall and rivers to flow painting a picture of a Mars that was once much more Earth-like than it is today. But here's the real kicker. Where there's water, there's the potential for life. These rivers could have offered conditions suitable for life, albeit microbial. Yes, you heard it right, microbial life. Astrobiologists are excited about the possibility that these Martian rivers might have been home to tiny organisms. While it's still a big if, the fact that we have found evidence of water on Mars is a promising sign in the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life. As we continue to explore Mars, these ancient waterways serve as a reminder of the planet's fascinating past and its potential to harbor life. Wow, what a journey we've been on tracing the ancient rivers of Mars. It's been fascinating to explore the red planet's watery past and ponder the tantalizing possibility of life beyond Earth. We want to express a heartfelt thank you for your unwavering support and interest. Your curiosity drives us to delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe, and we couldn't do it without you. We've ventured down Martian rivers today but there's so much more to explore. 
If you enjoyed today's video don't forget to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments below. Your input is part of what makes this journey so exciting. And if you're eager for more Martian mysteries, check out our other videos in the Mars series where we delve into topics like the planet's towering volcanoes, its expansive canyons, and its mysterious moons. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey. We're thrilled to have you as part of our community of space explorers and can't wait to continue our journey together. So buckle up and get ready. There's so much more of the red planet to explore. Until next time, keep looking up.